वेलकम टू टेक टुडे माय टॉपिक इज बाउंडेड ट्रांसमिशन मीडिया इफ यू वांटेड टू इंस्टॉल अ नेटवर्क देन वी शुड कंसीडर सम पॉइंट व्हाट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द मीडिया व्हाट इज इंस्टॉलेशन कॉस्ट इंपैक्ट ऑफ अटेनियशन ईएमआई बैंडविड्थ ऑफ द केबल और ट्रांसमिशन मीडिया सिग्नल टाइप डिस्टेंस how much we need how much i can afford for a network so these are the things which are the properties or which are the characteristics of transmission media taking into consideration while uh, designing the network or installing the network this transmission media that means two computers they communicate with each other they communicate with each other via some media and this media is called as transmission media this transmission media it is of two types mainly called as bounded media or unbounded media also called as guided media or unguided media wired media or wireless media one and the same so if the media is bounded media then it includes cables or wires if the media is unbounded media that means not bounded media then how they can communicate with each other via air or vacuum or what so this bounded transmission media we will see this bounded transmission media is basically divided into three types of cables or wires these are first is twisted pair coaxial cable and fiber optic cable so this twisted pair is again divided into two types utp and stp that is called as unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted pair so here is the long form and coaxial cable again divided into two that is thick net and thin net we will see in detail these three types of cables today but let us take a bird eye view of these three types of cables that is nothing but the comparison of bounded cables from this chart we can compare any two cables or three cables in a one class these are the properties of transmission media and here three cables are there twisted pair coaxial cable and fiber optic cable and these are the properties we will see this one by one the cost of twisted pair is inexpensive whereas the cost of coaxial cable is twice or thrice expensive than twisted pair that is a little bit cost is there more uh, of twisted pair fiber optic cable is very expensive cost is much more than as compared to twisted pair and coaxial cable by installing this twisted pair it is much more easier very easy cost of installation of this coaxial cable is also uh, easy but as compared to twisted pair it is some more difficult whereas fiber optic cable is there then installation cost of fiber optic cable is very difficult because a trained person is required for this type of installation attenuation that is weakening of the signal after some time or after some distance is more in twisted pair whereas it is more in coaxial cable but less as compared to twisted pair in fiber optic cable it is very less or negligible attenuation is present EMI that is electromagnetic interference effect that means outside atmospheric uh, electromagnetic waves or some electrical disturbance uh, is there 
So, in twisted pair, EMI effect is much more. In coaxial cables, it is minimum than twisted pair. But in fiber optic cable, there is no effect of EMI. The bandwidth of twisted pair is bandwidth is the capacity of carrying data or frequency. How much uh, frequency is there? Up to some distance. The bandwidth capacity of twisted pair is very less. That is 1 to 100 Mbps per 100 meter, up to 100 meter. In coaxial cable, it is 500 Mbps per 100 meter. Whereas in fiber optic cable, the bandwidth is much more, very large bandwidth is there, up to Gbps, gigabits per second, per kilometer. The signal type in twisted pair and coaxial cable, in both these, the signal type is electrical type. Whereas in fiber optic cable, light signals are present. So, it is at a glance, it is bird eye view, comparison of bounded cables. Now, we will study one by one each of these three cables. Here, the very first is twisted pair. I will show you the, uh, one type of twisted pair is here. So, these are uh, copper cables and a simple covering is there. This is, these are UTP type of cable and the wires again. Uh, so this is example of twisted pair. This twisted pair, one or more pairs of twisted copper wires are used. These wires are very close to each other. Many wires, many copper cable here, they are very close to each other. So there is an interference interference of one to other wire called as cross talk. So in order to reduce the cross talk and external EMI, wires are twisted. The advantages of this uh, twisted pair is it is inexpensive, not much more cost, easy to connect, easy to install and since the wires are twisted, it reduces EMI. Also, they reduce cross talk. Low weight wire, low weight cable or and low cost. So these are the advantages of twisted pair. What are the disadvantages of this twisted pair? That is, one can only use for short distance communication. It has limited bandwidth. That means data carrying capacity is not much more used for the short distance and high attenuation that is weakening of signal basically there are two types of uh, twisted pair UTP and ST as the name suggests unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted pair here you can see the figure here UTP outer covering is there and directly copper wire pairs many copper wires bunched together they, here you can see in STP that is shielded twisted pair that means shield is present one protective covering is present here you can see two twisted pair copper wires shield is there mesh is there and jacket is here outer covering is here that means what is there additional in this uh, STP is shield is present and that makes the difference between these two. So as the uh, shield is present here, it is inexpensive and very easy to install whereas it is expensive than UTP. As the shield is present naturally the cost is more expensive than UTP and a little bit difficult to install than UTP. It has more attenuation 
less attenuation than UTP cable in a stick. It is very sensitive to EMI. EMI is reduced here in STP due to shielding. The bandwidth capacity is generally 1 to 155 Mbps per 100 meter and here the bandwidth capacity is little bit more that is 500 Mbps per 100 meter. The example is telephone, uh, landline telephone whatever the cable is there that is twisted like this and the example of a stick peak cable is LAN cable. Now we will discuss the next type of cable that is coaxial cable. This cable is high frequency transmission cable which replaces the multiple wires of telephone lines with a single solid copper cord. Here, a single solid copper core. This copper core is at the center of the cable surrounded by insulator. This is insulating material. This is called as insulator. This is plastic foam insulator. This foam is surrounded by a wire mesh jacket called as conductor. The outermost protective covering that is plastic covering it gives protection to the inner copper core or data this is called as protective plastic covering in cable tv transmission for that cable tv this coaxial cable can be used again this is of two types and that is thick net and thin net the name itself suggests thick net is thick hard and expensive whereas thin net is thin flexible and inexpensive the advantages of this coaxial cable is it is available in different sizes so can be used in network then attenuation is less than twisted pair cable. Then next is EMI. EMI is reduced because of shielding is present. Better resistance to EMI than in twisted pair. Again it can be used for broadband transmission. The next type of cable is fiber optic cable. You can see the figure here. This is outer jacket. Inside that one cladding is present. And inside that cladding fiber core is present. This fiber optic cable. It is transparent. Actually spelling is F-I-B-R-E or F-I-B-E-R. Both are correct. One is English, American style and another is UK style. So fiber or fiber, both are correct. Next is, so this is about the figure you can see here. It is transparent glass fiber cable called as optic fiber cable. That is, it transmits data in pulses of light through tiny tubes of glass. They are lighter and more reliable at transmitting data. They transmit information using a beam of light at high speed. At here you can see this is inner core, fiber core and this is outer cladding is present here it is inner core here cladding is present you can see here and this is outermost protective cover what happens a beam of light 
passes through zigzag manner. Here, the light signal propagates through this fiber cable. Here, the fiber core is coated with cladding that reflects the signal back into the fiber. Whenever the signal passes here in a zigzag manner, that signal tends to go here. But as cladding is there, that is like a covering, and that cladding is there, it will again reflect the signal back into the fiber to reduce signal loss. And the jacket here, the jacket protects the fiber from damage. So there are various advantages of fiber optic cable. But the disadvantage is the cost is much more. The cost of the cable is much more, as well as the installation cost is also more as compared to twisted pair and pulse cable. But what are the advantages of fiber optic cable? We will see now one by one. It provides largest bandwidth, so can carry much information at a time without time delay. These cables are small in size, so can be crowded to carry more information in small space. These are lightweight cables and the attenuation is negligible. Lightweight cable with small diameters, faster communication is there and negligible attenuation is present. These are noiseless and shock proof communication, very reliable communication. They are, these wires are very strong and flexible. Also, some more advantages are there. They cannot be tapped like TV signals. They do not radiate. So, provide secure communication. That is reliable communication. These cables are very strong, flexible, can stand with high temperature. Also, they do not show corrosion due to water or chemicals. So, all these are the advantages of fiber optic cable. This light, again, uh, I will explain this. this uh, by multiple reflections in zigzag path, the light will travel. Some part of the signal is absorbed due to internal absorb uh, absorption. So, negligible attenuation is there. But this light signal carries many signal in them. This, sig this carries many signals at a time, many different types of signals, many signals of different channels without any interference. So can be used in broadband, which is an advantage for us. Hope you understand three types of uh, cables. Thank you for watching.